Okay, so today we're going to look at a product from FIO. Um, it's a FCOS-63. And this is a manual change over switch. There's a rate current is 63, 1 to 63 amps, and then you also get the 80 to 125. We don't stock them at the moment, but... Um, and then, yeah, Saab also has exactly the same product, same ratings. It is C certification, and uh, yeah, it's also on the IEC, it's, it's uh, rated. So yeah, what it is for is basically it's a manual change over switch. We know the, the others that normally goes at the, in the middle it's off, top it's on, bottom it's off. But uh, we're going to have a look at this one from FIO. I think this is unique because it's got, both of them have short circuit and overcurrent protection on them. So you don't need MCC, MCBs in front of them. And then the change over switch, so the cabling is much easier. And then, yeah, this is on Santo indication lights. So we're going to quickly have a look at that. Okay, just to explain quickly, um, these wires, this is coming from the inverter, the input, and this is from your mains. So then you have to, um, to get the indication light, you have to put it at the top so that the indication light will, will shine. Uh, as soon as the power comes on, so say for instance we put the power on from the AC side, now that it is on, and now if we put it on on the DC side, that is also on. Um, so the indication light is basically it's uh, the neutral at the top and the life at the bottom, so you just have to hook it up like that. And here at the bottom, you basically um, the output you bridge it and there's one p output going out and if there's power if we switch the power on say we switch the AC on the power will be on but let me quickly zoom out for you so typically you will have your inverter and lots of people say yeah it has a change of a switch inside yes it does but you've got power coming in and out and if it's faulty you need to switch it off or say for instance your batteries is flat and you just want the ESCOM to go through so it's simply just a switch um, so you cannot put both of these these on you have to as soon as you put it back on this one will trip then you have to switch that on if you on the inverter side it is easy it just trips on the other side you would have seen that there's actually no the uh, transfer time is quite quite fast so for instance the inverter goes off you've, it's faulty now you won't have any load you simply go to your box you switch on your load and everything is fine you can take your inverter for repairs or your batteries is flat you can simply do that as soon as you bring it back you can just simply when the it goes off you can just switch it on and also when you work on the thing on on it the indication light is there so that you can see there's no power coming in so when you see there's a light you have to switch off um, at the at the mains and then you have to switch off your inverter so that there's now you can see there's no load no there will, won't be any electricity there it still can be but you're supposed to switch it off at the main so um, when the mains is off there won't be any power coming in so yeah these products are also at, on take a lot uh, it's go a bit slow because i think the people don't know exactly how wonderful this product is but yeah um just uh genuine uh, nice product nice and small obviously you have to put in your uh, AC protection here uh, but this is just for illustration just how the switch work 